Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's a pleasure to be out there in nature and greeting you wherever you are. Bringing a message of peace, a message of joy, a message of emancipation and a message of abundance to you. And when you come in to your place of abundance, you would know for yourself that God is your own human imagination and that God is in you. Thus the reason why, my brother and my sisters, I always teach you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And that the Bible was written symbolically, symbolically, sorry. So, all these symbols in the Bible, they were interpreted to us as literal to have us in a perpetual state of mental slavery and in idolatry. But I'm here to help you and I'm not speaking from theory, but I'm speaking from experience. Thus the reason why my brother and my sisters, I want to speak to you concerning God is your true identity. Now, everyone in this world have to ask themselves the question, who am I? And when the answer comes to them, the answer must come according to Exodus chapter 3, where the question was asked, what is your name? Or what is your true identity? Or who, who you are? That I may tell the people who I'm bringing a message to, who sent me. It is only a message of discovering your true identity. Knowing your true self. Because Moses means to be born. And the reason why they tell you that Moses was in a basket, in a river, or in the water, is because in our mother's womb, we just be there in our mother's womb in the water. And she water back up to bus before she can give birth. Okay, but that's another lesson for another time. So the universal question is that, who am I? And when the answer comes, you have to be, I am. I am that I am. I am whatever I believe myself to be. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. No. Who is God? Because there are many different theories about who is God. We know that God is the creator. And that there's only one creator. Therefore, if there's only one creator, there have to be only one creative power. And the only creative power up on the face of this earth, doesn't matter what is your race or color, or which country you born and grew up in, the only creative power there is in this world is the power of imagining. For everything was first a thought. Everything was first imagined. And the divine law of reproduction is that every seed and every species reproduce after its own kind. And that principle that is in nature can never be proven wrong. I would have written a book on that called Can Be Proven Wrong. And whenever, whenever you read that, that book and you understand what I'm really trying to show you, you realize that when it comes to your true identity, you will know what is truth. And you will realize that truth cannot be proven wrong. And you will understand that an absolute has been placed in nature to teach you when you come into the true absolute that you can never be proven wrong. So, my brother and my sister, with all of that being said, and with the law of reproduction being shown to you that every seed and every species reproduce after its own kind, when we look at the animals, we see the young of every animal, it will grow into the full-fledged or adult animal. For example, a lamb will grow into a full-fledged sheep. A kid will grow into a full-fledged goat. 
a pup will grow into a full fledged dog to become a mature dog. And to see how many melanated ones could be so brainwashed and so deceived in their religious mentality that they will claim to say that they are a child of God and when I show them the same principle that has been placed in the earth and they believe that God is the creator and they, they claim to be worshipping this creator and they believe that this creator creates all of nature and when we look at nature we see the law of divine love reproduction and every seed and every species we reproduce or bring back of their own kind and I show them this principle and ask them if they are a child of God what would they grow into or what they would become my brother and my sisters if you are a child of God you have to come to the discovery that you are God you have to come to the realization that you are God and that you are the creator of your circumstances and that man and not the, 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 the victim of circumstances are the creatures of circumstances I should say but circumstances are the creatures of men so basically we are creating our reality consciously by our thoughts so as a man thinketh in his heart so is he that's the reason why my brother and my sister when you come to understand your true identity and know that you and God are one and that God is the creator then you have to learn now how to create your reality consciously that is why my, my brother and my sister my message to you is always to try to teach you how you can create your reality consciously and the first thing you have to do is remove all forms of idolatry you can no, you can no longer pray to a God outside of yourself you can no longer believe in a God outside of yourself that existing in the sky you can no, no longer refer to a building as the church and deny your body as the temple of God as the tabernacle of God and you could never deny that everything in this world was first imagined it was first a thought and everything else that ever going to be must first be imagined therefore in St. John 1 chapter 1 and verse 3 when it says all things was made by him and without him there isn't anything made that was made my brother and my sister, they have to be speaking about the human imagination. So the human imagination is the invisible one in you. It is God in man. The inner man. That's the reason why Matthew 6.6 6 admonish you, my brothers and sisters. To close the door, which is speaking of your two eyes. And go into your closet, which is secret place of your being and speak to the Father that is in you the man of imagination let him know what is your desire what you would like to manifest upon the face of this earth and with God all things are possible and if thou canst believe all things are possible to them that believe so my brother and my sisters if you truly believe that you are God in flesh and you are the creator and master of your own destiny and that you can create your reality consciously then you will be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve in this world all you have to do is just get rid of idolatry stop looking to a God outside of yourself stop looking to a savior outside of yourself and look within yourself that's the reason why Psalm 4, 4 tells you to commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still so let me say my brother and my sisters the five senses that you are using on the outside you can use those same five senses within in your own human imagination you can see in the human imagination you can taste you can smell you can hear you can hear someone congratulating you you can see someone and feel someone embracing you you can feel money 
You can smell money. You can count money. Because you can speak in your own human imagination. So my brother and my sister just read between the lines. Whereby you have to come into your true identity. You have to know who you are. And you have to act the part of who you claim to be you are. And I'm saying to you, my brother and my sisters, no one in this world can teach you your true Christ self. You have to experience it for yourself. You have to discover the creator is in you. You have to find the creator is in you. For example, let me just give you a little illustration. For example, let's, let's say this is money. Okay? I can hold this money in my hand and I can ask you to con, not, not, not to con, sorry, to say money with me without even opening your mouth. And I can say one, two, three. Good? And I didn't say anything, but I would have heard myself say money. And if you participate and you say the same thing, you hear yourself say money, but you didn't open your mouth. Because there's an inner man and an outer man. And all I'm doing is introducing you to the inner man, which is basically your subconscious mind, which is so impartial. Whatever you sow in the subconscious mind, it will bring back to you. So if you sow good thoughts, you're going to get good results. If you sow bad thoughts, you're going to get bad results. So my brother and my sisters, you have to accept your identity and live according to your identity. And when you live according to your identity, you will come in to a place of abundance and prosperity. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to encourage you to always support my ebooks and to always go to the link below and you will see uh, the different ebooks that I have here. Okay, so with that being said, my brother and my sisters, as usual, I want to give you the sign. The sign of the rising sun, the S-U-N, a rising in a S-O-N. And whatever the sun shines upon, it brings forth in abundance. And whatever you can imagine, it can and would be multiplied unto you. As you believe, so shall it be done unto you. So, the human imagination parallels the rising of the sun. And we are the people of the sun. So, that be someone say, peace, love you. I'm out.